Oh no. Oh no, I see what I do. Oh no. Oh no. It's that building over there with the blue roof. <laughs> it's that building over there with the blue roof. That's the one. No, I, ah, I got a car behind me. I wasn't going to back up all the way in the street either, but I need. I, oh, that was the right drive, bro. That was the right drive. I was just looking at the gate for the wrong place. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. What is up, guys? Dave back again for another truck and vlog. And we are uh, headed to Durham, North Carolina today to go make a delivery at a small place. Uh, looks like a small warehouse. I can't really tell. Uh, I have never been here before. This is uh, first time. Looks like a janitorial place. I delivered to another janitorial place in Columbus that I showed y'all. Um, it's where I thought I went on a no truck route and couldn't find the entrance and all that stuff. Anyways, it's another jan janitorial place, uh, which is supplied by uh, the places I go in Kentucky to pick up supplies a lot of janitorial supplies. So we're going to here. I don't know. We're carrying mops and brooms, I guess, boys. We got mops and brooms back there. Now I know a lot of it's like paper towels and stuff. I see when these get unloaded, but thought I was gonna have to get over for a second, but they're way off in the grass, so we're good. We're good to chill here. What's this sign say? Right lane ends. Sure does. It says it on the road too. Don't get over anybody. Everybody's staying in your lanes. Yep. Okay. I always get nervous when I merge over when somebody's like next to me, you know, because. I... <laughs> I mean, I don't think he was coming over. I think he just swerved for whatever reason and was coming into my lane, but right there, I always get nervous when I'm coming over. Look, he's, he's over halfway in the lane again. Look, he's all the way across the line. I would see, well, y'all see why I slammed on the brakes there? I was like, Jesus, dude, what are you doing? Like, I thought a man was coming into me. <laughs> Anyways, I always get nervous when I change the lane. You always gotta watch. I, I notice a lot of cars don't watch. It's when you're going to switch a lane and let's say you're, I don't know, you're going to sw switch into the second from the left lane, right? And there's a car over there in that left lane. You gotta make sure they ain't about to come over on you. You gotta watch them as you're making your lane change. Cause if you don't, then they might be like, okay, I'm done passing now, I'm about to get over to the right. And then you both crash into each other. It happens, man, it happens. Anyways, before all those shenanigans, uh, yeah, Durham, North Carolina, janitorial place. And uh, put a picture up on screen real quick. This is what it looks like. Uh, like I said, it just looks like a small warehouse. I can't really tell where the dock doors are. I imagine it's on the side where I turn in at. I actually dropped a pin on my Google Maps to kind of take me to the uh, where I think the entrance is. But before we turn in, we'll give it a nice little look and see what looks like it makes sense. And then, yeah. This one B right here. Look at a little car up there, a little uh, convertible, a little red convertible. I don't know what it is though. I can't tell from here. Look neat though. Right. In one quarter mile, turn left on East Pettigrew Street. <laughs> my GPS thinks I, or my uh, freaking ELD thinks that I arrived. It automatically sends arrivals, but it thinks that I'm already there, but I'm not yet. All right, so we're gonna go up here. We're gonna take a left at a stop sign. Nobody's coming, nobody's coming. I got a yield sign, but nobody's coming. We are all good. Go ahead and hop on over. 0.2, we gotta take this left. So I'm assuming, uh, is it after this? Yes, it's after this. Okay, Woof. that was a little confusing. Stop sign. Yeah, stop sign. I knew it was at a stop sign, but for a second I was like, no, I think that's gonna put me back on the highway, and it does. Stop sign here. It's always fun going to new places when you don't know where you're gonna go. Stop sign, cross traffic. I can't see, dude, I can't see cross traffic. I had to turn my cab to the right. I think I got her. I don't see anybody. Hood mirror, no, we're good, okay. That was a little sketchy right there, bro. All right, it's on this road. It's gonna be on the left up here. We have to go slow and kind of look at what we're turning into here because I'm not quite sure. How many cars are behind me? Just one? 
Nobody's behind me. Uh, one just turned on. Dang it. In 400 feet, arrive at 2106 East Pettigrew Street on the left. Okay, not this turn in, but the next turn in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right here, right here, right here. Oh, there's a gate here. God dang it, I hate gates. All box trailers use gate one. I, I'm not a, I'm a box trailer. Where's gate one? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, no. I see what I do. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's that building over there with the blue roof. <laughs> it's that building over there with the blue roof. That's the one. No, I, I got a car behind me. I wasn't going to back up all the way in the street either, but I need... I, oh, that was the right drive, bro. That was the right drive. I was just looking at the gate for the wrong place. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, here's here's my option. I'm gonna turn into gate one for this place and tell them, I think I'm at the wrong place and then they'll let me go in and turn around, right? That's what usually what people do. Yeah, gate one, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm just gonna turn in guys, let me be right back with you and I'm gonna make a U-turn in this place because they gotta get semis in here, right? Oh. Oh yeah, there's plenty of room. There's plenty of room in here to turn around. I'm just gonna pull in, just do a little U-turn and kind of whistle on my way out. You know what I mean? Be like, hey guys, I'm in the wrong place here. Is there really a car? God dang it, there's a car turning in behind me. God bless. Of course there is. So I can't just make a quick U-turn here and get the heck out of here before somebody says, hey son, what are you doing here? <laughs> Shut up, CB. I don't need you now. Okay, car turned off into a parking spot. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be in here. I don't know no different. There's box trailers all around here. I'm like, hey, Johnny, you know, we, we ever worked with this online transport company just pulled in here? No, we really didn't. I don't think so. What's he doing in here? Uh, maybe he's got us some air gas in here. That's what this place is called, air gas. Shipping and receiving. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I got to go over there, guys. Hold on, let me go up here and park. <laughs> let me go on ahead and make this U-turn real quick. God dang it. I was watching Satellite 2 looking for a spot to turn in, but then my eyes got fixated on the gate and I was just like, oh no, I can't get in. But it was, you take a left around that. It was weird. It was just weird. It was a weird one. It threw me for a loop, man. Hope these people aren't mad at me for uh, destroying their lot. Okay. Can I get it? I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, come on. Come on, Dave. Sorry. Sorry, Bryn Tag. Thank y'all for doing business. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna take a ride right after this light, bro. There's a lot of little traffic around this little area too. Okay, we're gonna take this right and we're gonna go just cut right over into that parking lot there. That's what I should have done. I'm an idiot, but what can I say? This place threw me off. They do have a dock door over there too, so that looks pretty good. This guy's probably sitting here like, yeah, he's doing the wrong thing. No, I'm not, bro. I'm actually going over here. <laughs> he's probably like, you're supposed to be in gate one, box truck. I, I guarantee you he was just sitting there in that bobtail looking at me like, this dummy. Oh my God, we gotta be the other way? <laughs> I gotta turn around. Look at this dog, it's slanted to all hell. <laughs> oh, what do I do? Can I turn around up here, boys? I sure can't back in like that. I, I guess I can I turn around back here. I don't know. I have no clue what's going on. I'll back out if I got to. Shoot. Oh no. Oh. Okay. 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 That's why they have it like this, man. They got all this so then semis can turn around. I gotta take the grass a little bit, bro. This is gonna be tight. It, it's 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 big enough. Now they got back here. It's big enough. But it's it gonna be a little tight. It's gonna, it, it, it's a little bit tight, and I'm going to be dragging this trailer a little bit. Can't help it. My only option here. Oh, God, it's still going to be tight, bro. Come on, don't hit the fairings, Dave. Don't hit the fairings. I got to go slow. I'm going to hit these fairings. Oh, straighten out quick, Dave. Straighten out before you hit these fairings. I'm really close. <sighs> I told y'all. I told y'all it was going to be tight. I tried to tell y'all. Y'all didn't listen to me. Probably looked like I had an airport on freaking GoPro. It always does. <laughs> Anyways, 
Lord Jesus, this ended up being more eventful than what I anticipated. I'm assuming I'm going into that dock. Should I just back into it, guys? I guess I should, huh? All right, let me, uh, let's go open the doors real quick. Good God. I thought for sure I was about to crunch them fairings, man. Try not to do that. There's no other way I could have done it. I mean, I could have, okay, so technically I could have went up in their parking lot at the front and then swung back, you know what I mean? But... Oh, well. oh, is there a seal on this? I think there is. I don't think I can open it, boys. You never want to open a seal unless the customer tells you you can open a seal. Y'all know my appointment ain't till tomorrow at 8 a.m. I sure hope they take me. There's a seal on it. God bless it. Be this funnel cake. Hold for Dolma. All right, guys. Uh, let me go check in with them and uh, see if they'll even take me today and what they want me to do. They might let me park here tonight, actually. That's pretty good. I bet if I just backed up to the edge or something, they'd be okay with it. Let me go ask. With such a nice lady here, and she's like, uh, oh, she was like, I didn't think we were expecting this load till tomorrow morning. I was like, well, yeah, I was supposed to be here at 8 a.m., but I'm here now, so she's, I was, she's like, oh, okay, we'll go ahead and back into that door right there, and I'll get somebody to help you. I was like, damn it. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to open this seal. She said, I, she said I could. I said, can I go ahead and open the seal and everything? She was like, oh yeah. I was like, okay, thanks. Super nice lady. And it is that dock too that I spun around for. It's a good thing I did. Because I did notice they had another dock up there by the front door that I didn't notice pulling in. Let's be careful here. Make sure we don't get hit by no freight. Because I knew, I've done these a lot before. So I knew that, uh, it's usually loaded to the back and it's usually high. So I usually get nervous. I don't get nervous, but I try to make sure I don't get hit by the freight. Yeah, we're good. Okay. All right, I don't know if they want me to slide the tandems or not. I probably will once I get set up. There's gonna be a little bit of a blind side, but we're just gonna wanna pass the spot up and go a little bit to the left. We should line up for a nice easy uh, back. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, there's the door right there. We'll have to jack it a little bit because it is a little bit like we're gonna we can't just go straight out. My trailer will never make it. I'll be at that grass there. So we're gonna have to kind of go up and then kind of guide her back in. But we should be at such a light angle, you know what I mean? When I pull up and go right and kind of angle it in a little bit, it's gonna be such a slight angle. I should be able to see out of my mirror there the end of my trailer to get into the spot. But it looks like it is gonna be a little uh, a little tricky. Let's see what she does. Need some air conditioning in here, dude, I'm hot. And like I said, she told me to open the doors and they take me today, so I'm pretty happy about that. Now I'll just have to ask them if they'll uh, let me stay. If they do, I think I am gonna stay here. I don't really feel like driving a far way to go to a truck stop. All right, so we're gonna have to pass. This is, it is kind of weird because I need to be like this. So I'm gonna kind of just go at an angle here, I think. Let me look again at what my trailer looks like. It is a little weird, boys. I won't lie. Okay, I think we're pretty set up pretty good here. We are gonna have to guide that thing in there blindside though, for sure. We're just gonna gradually try to work her in there. I'm gonna kinda start cutting it now. Y'all see my trailer right back there? I'm gonna gradually start cutting it in. They should have angled the dock the other way when they built this building, you know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna run over just the very corner of the grass, but that's fine. It's gonna get me lined up a lot better. And I'm watching in my convex mirror now. I gotta put the window down so I can actually see. All right, we wanna get this trailer. Yeah, I'm just watching the convex. All right, let's start getting under it now so we don't overdo it. I think I'm okay. I think I, ooh, okay, 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 okay. Dude, I should've jacked it a little more, dude. I got under it too early. I think I'm okay. Let me look at the left side. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Oh yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's just pull it left. We do gotta pull it left though. We're pointed toward the grass, as y'all can see. 
I'm gonna get under it, try not to run over their grass. Okay, I'm off. I'm actually on concrete right now, I can tell. All right, now let's jack it again now that we straightened her out a little bit. There we go. Now we're really looking pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and slide these tandems for them too. Oh yeah, now we're right where we need to be. That was perfect. That wasn't too bad, wasn't too bad at all. Was a little blind side, but it really wasn't blind because it was such a light angle, you know? It's only when you got a jacket a lot and you can't see anything that it makes it really tough to do some blind sides. All right, let's pull up to the left just a little bit because I'm a little off center or I'm a little angled. I'm pull up to the left just a little bit till I see this dock bumper on this side. Uh, there it is. Oh, did I overdo it? No, no, that look, that looks pretty good, honestly. All right, let's push it a little bit more, actually. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Now let's get that trailer back to the right, and we should be money in there right now, boy. I think we are money. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's just keep bees with it, Dave. We're kind of going uphill. A little bit of a struggle right now. I think I'm straight. Oh, we just hit the dock. All right, let's pop the brakes. All right, let's go looking for good. God dang it, I didn't slide the tandems. Maybe they don't care. <laughs> oh yeah, that's perfect. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Nailed it, son. Let's go. <laughs> I washed the truck about a week ago. She's already starting to get a little dirty. Man, I tell y'all what, she is the nicest lady. She just came out. She's like, you know, an older lady, really super sweet. She comes out and she goes, hey, we're a little short staffed today. I honestly thought she was about to say, could you come back in the morning? I was like, no, but she said, we're a little short staffed today. And somebody came in to see him, the guy who unloads the trucks. She's like, so it's probably gonna be like 15 or 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm like, that's perfectly fine. I was like, I was like, oh, no problem whatsoever. I was like, that's perfectly fine. Uh, she's like, okay. It's just, and she starts explaining to me like, you know, like apologizing. And I'm like, 15 to 20 minutes in trucking, <laughs> that's nothing. You know what I mean? Somebody tells me it's gonna be 15, 20 minutes before we can start unloading you. I'm like, hey, that's great. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you know, they, they don't know here. They're not a, big warehouse or anything that knows how things work so yeah it's kind of funny but yeah uh she did say i could park she said yeah guys park back there all the time i was like okay cool so what i'll do is i'll just pull up and go back back there out of the way and i told her i'd be gone in the middle of the night she said okay there's a place right across the street if i walk across the street here and across the railroad tracks which there is a light here so you can actually just take the light across um there's a place called mike d's barbecue house and it says it opens at 3 p.m well it's 2 15 now so by the time i get unloaded here it'll probably be after three i could park and go walk over there because this is kind of like a downtown area it's not really downtown durham but it's it just there's stuff around here businesses and, and stuff so yeah i might go get me some barbecue boys i don't know so i am staying here today so i guess i'll be back with y'all whenever uh they get done unloading i'll show y'all me parking back there but anyways yeah super nice place uh super nice lady here that's why i like little places like this man most people are really pleasant sometimes you never know the backing situation though sometimes it can be you know a really tight or bad backing situation but almost always at small places like this the people are just so friendly and like more down to earth you know it's because they're not dealing with 200 truck drivers a day and get annoyed with a lot of the drivers and there's still really no excuse to be an a-hole because i i even get treated like crap sometimes at shippers and receivers when you know i'm a yes ma'am yes sir no sir no ma'am kind of guy and i'm friendly respectful i'm always nice no matter what they tell me if they tell me we won't get to you in two hours i'm like oh okay well no problem i'll just hang out in my truck you know i don't ever get mad but a lot of times you go places and people are just so rude to you so yeah, it, it's just nice when you got people out here like this that are super helpful. So anyways, guys, yeah, I'm going to chill back in the sleeper until they're ready. And they haven't even taken my paperwork yet. She didn't want it. She said, wait until the guy comes. So I'm going to go relax a little bit, lay in the sleeper, and I'll be back with y'all in a bit. 
All right, guys, so that took a little while. Uh, they just got me unloaded. I was definitely here for like two, two and a half hours, something like that. Um, I am out of time, literally. So I had a feeling that was gonna happen. That's why I was hoping they let me park. Well, the guy came out and he got my paperwork and signed my copy and everything. And I said, she said that I could park back there. He was like, well, you can do that or you could just stay where you are. We don't have any other trucks coming tonight. I was like, okay, that works. So I'm just gonna sit the dock door, guys. Not even gonna back back there in the back. Although, is there some shade? No, it's all in the sun. So, I was going to say keep it a little cooler in here, but it's fine. I've been having this air conditioned blast for a while. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty much an abrupt end to the video then. Uh, if I don't have enough, I'll put something else in here, but I'll probably have enough for a video of us getting here and driving and stuff. Backing. But, yeah, that's that. They're all done. I'm sitting here. I don't know if I'm gonna walk over and grab something to eat. Uh, if I do, y'all will see it. If I don't, the video will end now. Cause I got food on the truck. I don't know if I wanna walk all the way over there. It's not that far. I've walked further for food before. Uh, don't wanna go over there. I kinda do, honestly. All right, we all will know right now if I did or not. Let's take a spin to a foreign place these open highways are calling our name and now it's time for us to escape escape to a world we don't know escape into the great unknown escape to a world we don't know escape into the great unknown